Yeah, it just felt like um, the puck was finding us up top tonight. Um, not even me specifically. We were just trying to work it around, and um, they they had some good blocks. But um, give credit to their goalie. He he played well. He was making the saves that he needed to make for them. And um, the one at the end there, just traffic. I tried to sl just throw it low, and um, luckily went in. But um, yeah, it was a uh, overall just good effort. And I feel like by the guys getting everything to the net. Uh, obviously, uh, pretty excited. Um, you know, the game goes into overtime, and uh, those games are, are you know, the most important in the series. Um, you know, they can go either way, and um, obviously, their goalie was making a ton of saves throughout the game. But I'm super confident with our group that eventually one's going to go in with the the skill that we have and the talented players we have. And Kale was able to come up with the clutch goal. Yeah, what what does this remind us? You guys have so many opportunities to play, but you just don't really. Yeah, obviously, um, we had the one goal, too, that was called off, or not a no goal that from the beginning. But um, no, I, I guess for us, it's just keep working. Um, we felt like we were on them uh, the whole third period. And um, eventually, mo most of the time, the hockey gods are going to reward you for that hard work. And um, for us, we were able to get a um, get a lucky one in overtime. But um, no, it's an, it's an exciting game when it's like that for us. And we just have to make sure that we can continue that um, every game. Um, you know, you just got to worry about the next save. Uh, I know that's a little cliche, but uh, um, like I said, I'm really confident in our group that um, that eventually one's going to go in for us. So um, if I just, you know, focus on the, the shots that I do get, um, you know, I have a lot of faith in the group ahead of me. Yeah, compared to game one, is it more satisfying to like, get something like that again from the three, kind of where you know you've got to keep doing it? Yeah, I think um, I touched on it last after last game too. Um, looking back on last year, the second game versus Vegas and uh, or St. Louis, they're really tight battles. I, I can't remember which one went to overtime, but um, it's the game's going to get tighter. Obviously, the more you play the team, the more you know their tendencies. So everybody's going to amp it up a lot. And um, for us, we knew it was going to be a battle tonight. We knew that they were going to start strong, and we had to weather it. And then um, we just started uh, started to get our feet moving and, and continued that pace throughout the night. No, I, I mean. It helps too that you know it, it's uh, game two and there's a lot of a lot of hockey left to play and um, you know I'm I'm confident with the group like I said so uh, you know even if one one did get in I, I'm confident that we're going to get one to to even it up so you know that allows me to just go out there and play. Yeah, what was the uh, the one Sorry, the one that they they had yeah, ag against us. Game, yeah, obviously uh, coming off that challenge there and then. Um, it's just a big momentum builder when we're able to kill that off. I think um, Kemp's made some some big saves for us there, but we we just we just try to honestly just uh, kill it off and then um, get the boys rolling. That was our that was our goal going into that period, and um, they got a few good opportunities, but we were able to to weather it. But um, yeah, there's not much else to say. We just wanted to gain momentum. Yeah, I mean, um, like I touched on earlier question, I think um, the game too, it's always going to get harder as you go on and play play teams more. We saw that last year in the COVID year when you're playing multiple games in a row, um, the games get tighter. But um, for for us, I'll have to take a look at the clips. I feel like maybe they were better, a um, little bit better at standing the line of the PK and stuff like that. And that's, that's stuff that we're going to adjust to as well. So um, no, overall, it's just that's how the series goes. That's why it's exciting. And um, that's why we love it. Yeah, I mean, um, Kemp's touched on it. He has confidence in in, in uh, everybody, and that's that's what you have to have. You have to have that depth that um, the coaches can rely on every single person, regardless of the situation. And um, like you just touched on, we uh, Sturmy and those guys were out there, and um, they were they were working them down low, and then it popped up like it had all night, and um, we get a lucky bounce. So um, hard work gets rewarded, and it's awesome that we can trust a lot of guys in scenarios like that. Pardon? 
No, I didn't see that. I just, I just tried to throw it at the net, and then it was a craziness. So, yeah. Yeah, um, I touched on it too. Like they did a, they did a good job. That's another thing about the defensive um, aspect that they improved on. I felt like getting in our lanes up top, and um, that's something that we just need to focus on more as a decor, making sure that we reward the forwards going to the net. Um, cause I feel like they were getting there tonight. We just sometimes, like you said, a lot of block shots weren't getting the puck to them. So, um, for us, it's just getting it past that first layer and then allowing our forwards to do the work, but I'm um, give credit to them. They, uh, for us to have that many block shots, shot attempts, I guess. Um, yeah. Uh, I think, um, I think as a group all year, we've done a really good job of, you know, just staying even keel. We've uh, dealt with a lot of success in the regular season, and we just kind of kept the same approach throughout. And um, in playoffs, it's even more important. Uh, obviously, we're going to enjoy it and, and uh, you know, be happy that we got rewarded for, for all the work we put in tonight. But we know, uh, you know, the toughest game is always the next one. So we got to get ready for that one. It's a, it's an exciting time of year. It's um, it's it's obviously like Kemp's touched on. It's so competitive, and he lives to compete, and uh, uh, it's awesome. Even um, before our first game, you could see it in morning skate just how amped up he was, and um, it he's the he's a driving force on our team, and um, it was awesome to see him get that first one. And then I I feel like the boys just in general built off of that the whole night. So um, he definitely started it off and continued it for us. But yeah, it's um. He's definitely a different animal in the playoffs, and um, that's why he's probably the best player in the world. Uh, yeah, obviously he played great. He made a, a ton of uh, big saves, and um, you know, stepping in with uh, not a ton of experience, um, he was definitely ready to go. Made it tough on our shooters. I thought we were uh, doing a great job of uh, generating, and um, he, you know, he was coming up with a lot of saves and. Uh, fortunately, we were able to, to stick with it and get the game win tonight. Um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be ramped up for sure. It's going to be uh, hostile territory. I'm sure their team's going to be ready to go and ready to feed off it. Yeah, I mean, um, for us, it's just all about focusing on the start next game. Um, like. The camps just touched on. It's going to be a completely different atmosphere, and um, the boys, as a group, we just have to stay together more and, and make sure that we don't get frustrated by the um, by what they're going to throw at us, regardless of the crowd or, or their team. So, um, no, it's uh, obviously momentum doesn't carry game to game in the playoffs, and um, it's uh, that's that's why it's the playoffs. That's why you start every night with the with the new script. Thank you. Well, there's a nervousness for me about it because, I mean, I, I, my belief is that we just had to keep doing what we were doing and we'd find a way to win the hockey game. But, you know, you go down, you're playing a lot of time in the offensive zone, you're getting all kinds of chances, you're drawing penalties, you're doing everything right, and then they come down into the zone and they create a quick chance and you're kind of holding your breath, you know. I thought uh, Kemp's did an amazing job of, of staying in the game, you know, with uh, the way we were limiting shots, especially in the second half of the game, and you know, staying sharp, he ends up making some big saves, a couple in the third, and another couple in overtime for sure, that that give us a chance to win that game. And on the offensive side of it, I was, you know, our message was keep doing what we're doing. We had a couple little pointers for the guys after the first, after the second, and again after the third, and, but. I mean, you got to believe that if you keep playing like that and keep doing the right things and you're checking games in order, that you're going to find a way just from sheer numbers of, of getting pucks to the net and, mm -hmm. and chasing down rebounds and whatnot, that we would find a way to, to get the job done. And, you know, you look at it, you look at a guy like Kale, he shot. I mean, I don't know how many shot attempts he had, but it seemed like a lot. And a lot got blocked, a lot got through. Goalie made some nice saves, and eventually he just keeps, stays with it and stays with it and finds a lane on the loose puck there in overtime, and, and it goes in. So I don't think you want to get away from that. I think you got to keep 
you just got to stay with it. You know, if they're finding ways to block shots, you can maybe shoot it by them and look for some tips at the side of the net and whatnot. But you still got to keep putting pucks there and heading there with your guys to collect some rebounds. Yeah, I mean, well, I agree with that. You know, I, I do. You're not going to win them all. You know, there's going to be times when, you know, a goalie performance like that and the team that's playing hard and desperate will, will get you. But I think f for the most part, you, 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 if it's it's been successful for us and, you know, we were trying to stay aggressive and stay on our toes and even that final shift where we checked the puck back a couple times in the offensive zone, we – um, got above it in the neutral zone and checked it back and the fourth line goes in and gets a really good net drive and makes a play and Sturm shot gets blocked on a blocked on a desperation play and Kale puts it back to the net. So um, I, I like the fact that we were able to use all of our guys, all four lines playing. They played their whole team. So did we um, guys, you know, everyone on our team contributed to the win tonight. beats out an icing in, in overtime too. I mean, he, he, I mean, yeah, he did some good things, man. That Those guys played hard. That fourth line was really good for us and they were on the ice for the game winner. I'm really proud of our guys today for sticking with, you know, our checking game. Like they were, we were really good at getting back above pucks and, and shutting down the rush and trying to limit their time and, and shots against the in and you know again that's for us a recipe for success and what we do offensively and but sometimes you, you run into a game like that when you're getting all kinds of chances and you don't score if you stray away from that your 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 200 foot game is not going to work out for you so you know, goes back to a little bit what Kale's saying, and our guys just stuck with it and kept doing it the right way, and eventually they got rewarded. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to compare it to a year ago because I thought, you know, we were in a pretty doing doing good things then too. But there's certainly a lot of talk about it. You know, there's a lot of belief in our room that that. Um, you know, you, you can tell just by what the guys are saying on the bench and in the room in between periods that, you know, we just got to stick with it. Like, they got to feel for the game. They're the ones playing it. They're watching it. They're in tune with it. And they're seeing the same things the coaching staff is seeing. Yeah, I mean, that's a huge moment in the game, right? Like, I lose the challenge there. And then, um, you know, I didn't love the call on the, what was it, Val? Uh to put us down five on three, but they were good. You know, they they got one real good clean look uh, where they shot it through our defenseman and went off the post, outside of the post, um, but positionally really good, get strong on all of our clears. I mean, they, the PK has been really good for us uh, down the stretch and, and now into the playoffs, It's a, and, it, and it has to be. It's a key part of it because, you know, you're putting their best five players on the ice and coming at you, and you got to find a way to get through it and survive it and, and move on so you can get back on the attack. What did you see on the play that Well, I saw uh, Val going to the net and get the tip. The puck's loose. And Lecky's also going in there for a tip. He goes in on his own, right? Um, it was just my belief the time that it kind of lapsed on it. We'd watched it and watched it again. Lecky goes backwards and then he's basically trying to come oops sorry trying to come out of, of of the crease and I believe he would have been out in time and had get, uh, Ingram would have had time to make the save and and then I, th I think it was Ekholm cross checks him back on top of the goalie and we score so um, close one you know uh, we were all our staff was all thinking that's a good goal and uh, they didn't see it that way because he went in on his own. So we'll talk to the league and get clarification, just exactly what they're seeing. Um, we do it with all of ours and even some of the other teams. So we're so we have a real good feel for what they're uh, overturning or what they're allowing, what they're not. Um, you know, my belief is if that was a good goal on the ice, it probably stays a good goal, and uh, it wasn't, and stays the way it is. So you, I mean, my mistake, you got to work through it. It'll be rowdy, hostile, yep.
It always is. If the crowd gets behind them, uh, must win, you know, coming into that, uh, they'll gain some life from tonight's performance. And, and um, yeah, we'll need another really strong game. We'll need to take what we did at home and, and, and transfer it right onto the road. He was good. <laughs> he was really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was he was really good. I mean, I thought we had a lot of really good looks. They played, I mean, they blocked a lot of shots and made it difficult to get to some rebounds down there at the net front. Um, they, they, they played well defensively in, in, in front of them, uh, especially in, you know, at and near the net. Uh, but he's, he, he was good. He was, he was really good. You know, for a young guy to come in and do that, it's, it's impressive performance. Yeah, uh, I mean, I thought he was outstanding. Yeah, trying to be a difference maker every time he stepped on the ice, and he was. Uh, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I've been talking about him for two years, you know, but he was outstanding tonight. Couple more, please. Yeah, I, w I was. I mean, that's what we looked after, after looked at, especially after the first. Um, most of our chances in the first came off the rush. Uh, we didn't. Our forecheck wasn't as effective as it was in game one after the first period, and we wanted to make sure that we were getting up and turning pucks over and spending some time in the offensive zone. Can't just be a rush team, you know. Um, so balanced attack for me and then I thought we got as the game went on we got better and better at getting to the net and, and trying to get in his eyes and again they were making it difficult down there and there was a lot of rebound just laying around um, they made some plays we drew some penalties getting there give our power play some good looks um, you know so I, I, I liked what I saw on the offensive side of it and, and some of those the 40 shot you know games that I'm not necessarily thrilled with afterwards is partly because of our checking but tonight it was on i thought we did a nice job in that department okay thank you very much yep thanks